everyone. Um, we're right at 11 o'clock, um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. My name is Natalie Clark, and I am the marketing manager for Distributor Central, and then I also help out with support and um, website design. So today, um, I wanted to talk to you all about using our niche website templates and kind of going over what templates are created for what different niche markets um, that we've done to kind of help you guys be able to get the products that your customers are needing out to them um, fast without having to do a whole lot of work. And then we're also going to kind of go over how to create pop-up shops. I've just um, activated a new template called Vertical Market, and I'm going to kind of show you how you can use that one to quickly get some special pop-up shops for maybe real estate or construction. And then we'll also um, give a deeper dive on how to create a calendar pop-up shop. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, we're going to go over those niche templates. So once you get logged into Distributor Central, if you go to Websites and then Hosting Manager, And I'm going to go to add new website so you can actually see the template's name. Go add new website. Okay, so we've created recently um, a template for Made in USA products. This already has, I'll go ahead and preview it. It already has graphics that kind of deal with USA made items. Um, we filtered this down to where it's only pulling products that were manufactured in the United States. So this is a quick way, you can use this template to be able to quickly get a website up that's just USA made products. The Southern Plus one, this is also more of a niche site. We actually did a co-hosted a co webinar with um, the supplier Southern Plus. And so this kind of features um, their outdoor and summer type products. So um, if you, had a customer that was really into some out wanting some outdoor products you could actually use this to quickly make a, a customized site for your customer you could even put their logo you know in in the website if you wanted to do that or or your own but it's it's just a really quick way to get that type of product to your customer if that's what they happen to be looking for at the time and it's personal to them the other one we have is this hat game promotions and this one also stemmed from a co-webinar that we did with outdoor cap it is only hats so if you have a customer that's just interested in headwear you could quickly um you know hit use this template pop your logo in and send it off to your customer to review their hat options this one also has our virtual design tool integrated to where your customer could actually add their logo and it's gonna publish their logo to those products. So I'll do a quick demo. Add your logo. And so now it's going to pop their logo onto these products, all these hats. So that, that's another one of our niche templates. And then we've also got the COVID-19 template. This is focused purely on, you know, the pandemic type products that people were wanting when everything hit and there was shutdowns. It's got stuff for healthcare heroes. PPE and safety type products. It has um, delivery and curbside pickup. It's already kind of got those, those different categories that are what everybody's wanting right now. Um, everybody was doing school at home, so we put, put that together. Um, these are curated products that DC hand selected. At the time we did this, there was a lot of suppliers that stock was running out. So we were like diligently working with them to make sure that we were putting products in there that they actually would have in a timely manner. 
If you would use these templates, you can even customize them even further. If there's products that you want that aren't already on here, you can use our product collections to be able to add to that. It's not, you know, a one size fits all. Everything's still very much customizable. And then the, the last one here is our streamline template. This one is um, more activewear, sports and apparel focused. So if you have customers that are very into, you know, the sportswear or apparel, this would probably be the best place to start to have one of those type of websites. Or maybe if you customize, you know, your sole business is more along the lines of apparel, this would be a good template to start for that. So that is all of the templates that we've created for you guys as kind of the niche markets that have came up since, you know, the pandemic rolled around and people were trying to change their business to, to sell for the things that are, that are in now. So now I'm going to look and see um, if there's any questions that have came up I'm gonna answer any of those that have came in. Um, if anybody does have questions along the way, just use that chat functionality. Um, and I'll, at the end, I'll take some time um, to answer those for everybody. Um, somebody asked where you go to get all the webinars to watch again. Um, if you go to distributorcentral.com and you go to resources, training videos, This has all of our past webinar recordings. It's all up to date except for the one from yesterday. Um, I haven't had a chance to add that one yet, but, and it, it's even categorized out. Um, we did some Distributor Central 101, 101 training, and then we have the website crash course series, um, all of our uh, co-hosted webinars that we've done with suppliers. And then we even have a section for any updates and new release webinars that we do. Another good resource too um, for help is help.distributorcentral.com. This has um, everything broken out. If there's a certain thing that, that you're wanting to um, find, normally you can start typing it. Um, for example, say you wanna know more about the virtual design tool how to enable the virtual design tool on your website. And it's gonna have, you know, steps on how to do it. Some of them even will have short videos that go with that. So um, that's another great place to look if you get stuck with something or you might have more questions about something specific. All right, so that's all the questions we had. We're gonna go ahead and, and now we're gonna get started with, um, I'm gonna show you some different ways to create those pop-up shops. So I'm gonna go to this vertical market template. Um, I've created that to where it should be um, a very simple few little edits that you can make to change the, the market or the theme of, of the website. So we're gonna hit use this template. So this, this first one, um, we're going to use Realtor as an example. So uh, real estate market. And then and I'm just pulling the logo that I created for the calendar one that we'll get to here in a minute. Once you go here, um, you can hit view your site and it's gonna just kind of pull up, you know, what the template has with just with your logo, but we're gonna wanna hit customize your site. And so we've already put realtor promotional products in as the placeholder, but once you get um, this open in the editor, if you wanted to change this, so, um, for example, we want to now we want to change we want to um, create a pop up shop for a construction company. So you can hover over, um, and it'll kind of highlight the different spots in here. If you double click on that, it's going to pull up the editor for that block. We're going to change realtor to construction, 
And then I'll change this to say apparel, safety products, tools, and more. I'm going to get rid of that line. I'm going to hit done. Okay. So now in, when you're using this template, if you want to switch out this image that's in the background, um, a place that I go to, to get free images um, is unsplash.com. So I'm going to go to unsplash and I'm going to put in construction. And then let's say I want to use this picture. So I'm going to download it. I've actually already downloaded it. Um, to my computer. So once you're back in the editor, you're going to go to settings and under current page, edit CSS. Now, once you have that up, if you go to library images, you're going to hit upload image and you'll actually um, go and find that image that you downloaded. Um, And once it's done, you'll hit done and then um, you'll click on it. And you'll hit this copy to clipboard. It's going to copy this code right here. You're going to hit done. Exit out of here. And then right here under this dot healthcare under background image URL, you're going to select in between the quote marks. And now you're going to paste that in. And now it's going to change that to that new image. So now to change um, the products that are on there, I'm going to, I'm going to hit save. Um, I'll hit live preview. So currently, it's actually not pulling any products because I haven't chose them yet. OK, so now we want to go and we want to choose these construction products. We're going to go back into our Distributor Central account, and we go to Websites, Hosting Manager. We're gonna pull up that site that we just created. Real estate is what we did. Okay, and hit Manage. Under Product Collections here, I'm gonna hit Manage. And so now I want to create a product collection that has to do with construction products. So there's a few different ways on whenever you're creating these different markets when, when using the filters. And I'll kind of show you all three different ways. And, and you may want to test to see which one works best and then kind of decide maybe you want to use all of them or maybe, maybe not. But so in this case, Whenever you go to add a collection, you hit that add collection. Instruction one. I'm going to hit add filter. And so one way we can quickly get construction products is if we add a keyword filter and just click construction. Another way that we can um, filter out to construction products is, same goes for the real estate. You could do a keyword for real estate and then for, and then the other way you could also kind of filter down is we have a theme filter and you can choose to construction. And so, this shows me that only 115 suppliers have act, actually put the attribute, the theme attribute for construction on their products. So that may or may not be enough, you know, um, but you can also preview to kind of see what those products are to decide which way you want to do this. The third way that you can kind of get into those niche markets. is we also have an industry um, attribute. So you can hit industry and then put in construction. So there's already several pre-built 
industries and themes that you can kind of go through to see if whatever that market is that you're wanting to hurry up and get a site for, if it's already in there, um, as long as the suppliers have added their products to those attributes then, or those filters, then it's gonna automatically populate those when you're going to create those collections. So then, so by doing it this way, there's 521 products that um, suppliers have put in the industry construction um, attribute. So now if I wanna preview to see what pulls up, you can just hit this preview button. And so now it's on that homepage, it's got those, um, it automatically pulls in those different collections. So I can click on each one to see, kind of see what products it pulled in as to if, you know, those are the products that I really want or not. So it looks like by filtering by the, the, um, the theme construction, these products make a little bit more sense for construction. Um, and then we'll look at this one. Same with, with the industry. And you can actually, you know, use, use both of those themes on there. Um, another thing that you could do here with these collections is say you decide that you want to use the keyword as your main, you want to use the keyword construction as your main thing, but then you want to um, create different collections based on categories. We can go in here and we can add the, that keyword as a global filter. And so now I have this to no matter what collection I create down here, it's going to automatically only pull things with a keyword construction on them. So for example, now maybe I want to make a category of construction products that are tools. So we can create a product collection for tools, add filter, and we can do it by maybe master category if there's a and see if there's a tool. So there's a tools master category. So it shows there's 699 products. You could even also filter it further um, by a subcategory then tool. And so um, you could kind of, it's just kind of a playing around to see what subcategories and categories we have and what, you know, suppliers have put. Um, so that gives us 222. So then now say we want to do another one that's just safety vests. You hit add collection. You hit add filter. And for our master category, we'll want to do apparel. And then add a filter. We'll see if there's a subcategory for safety maybe. Um, let's see. Let's see. You could even do a keyword, safety best. And so then that gives me down to 38 products. So now if I wanted to view those, you have preview. And so now on the home page, those collections are going to show up here. So if I wanted to create more categories along the lines of construction products, I can go in and create those collections and they're going to automatically, you know, show up here so that when I send this to my customer, they can easily filter out their products that they're wanting. Or if they wanted to shop all products, we have the shop all product button there. Um, I'm gonna check and see if there's any questions. Someone said, so are these website templates to strictly send to customers? No, they're not. You can, 
you can create them for your own website. You can you, you can use them for your overall website as well. Um, this, this is just kind of some ideas on how to create some of those niche sites, whether a customer requests it or maybe they don't. You just know that that's what's hot right now and you want to be able to quickly get, get something up for that. Or maybe you do want you know, to kind of segment your business out in these different markets. You can have a, we have several distributors that have a website that just sells calendars or a website that just sells umbrellas. It's kind of giving you different, different ideas and different ways to help sell more and kind of segment yourself out into different markets. Someone asked if there's a list showing which suppliers allow the virtual design tool. Um, we actually have, when you're setting up product collections, we have a filter for the product design tool. It's this virtual designer. And so if you only wanted products on your website that allowed for the virtual design tool, uh, you would add that filter. Um, it's only shown 115 in this case because it's only there's only 115 with the keyword construction on them. Someone's asking under the tools button if I can create a drop down menu. You can, but not. This is just kind of um, to show our quick and easy way of being able to create these to where um, you don't have to dig that deep into the website editor. But whenever I do the, here in a minute, I'm going to show you. Um, how to do the calendar pop-up shop, we'll actually go through the process of making those drop downs as well. And another question is, can you link these niche sites from your main website? Yes, so a lot of, that's what a lot of distributors have their main website. And let me go back into the hosting manager. And what they do is they just create a link in their navigation bar that, so if it, maybe it's the COVID template that they've used, and there's a link that says shop PPE products. And they just, um, you, if you copy this URL here and paste it into um, a link to put on your nav bar, that's, that's how you would do that. Okay, so let's get back on here. So now, um, I'm gonna close this. So now maybe I want to create a quick calendar store. I'm gonna hit add new website. I'm gonna choose that vertical market. I'm just gonna name it calendar store. Yeah. I'll just name it calendar. Okay, so I'm going to hit customize my site. Okay, so now I want to double click on here. I'm going to change this to calendar. And then I'm just gonna, you know, type in some different verbiage, some marketing speak in there. Hit done. Now I need to switch out that image. So I'm gonna go here to unsplash.com. I'll put in calendar. See what I get. So I'm gonna say I want to use this. I'll download it. I'm gonna go to library images. I'll hit upload images. And I'll go through the process of downloading it. I've actually already downloaded it. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit copy. Done. I'm going to X this out. Then I'm going to go to settings under current page, edit CSS. 
And then under this here, I'm going to select this and paste that in there. So now it's changed, you know, that top graphic to have to do with calendar, calendar products. I'm going to that. I like the way that looks better. I'm going to save that. Okay, so now I've got to go, and so it's got the catalog block built in already, um, but I've got to tell it what products to bring in. So now I'm going to go back here, and I can click this Add Products to Your Site, and it's going to automatically take me to the Collections Manager. Under Global Filters, in this case, maybe you have specific calendar suppliers that you like to work with. You could actually add a global filter based on supplier. Um, and in this instance, I'm going to use TradeNet. Um, Warwick Publishing. And American Calendar. So now I'm going to save that. And now, no matter what collection I create down here, it's going to automatically um, filter out by only those suppliers. You don't have to do that. I just know that there's a ton of calendars out there, and it would be a lot easier for your customers to only see a smaller amount of calendars versus all the calendars. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to create collections based on the different types of calendars. So I'm going to hit Add Collection. And I'm going to name this one Wall Calendar. And I'm going to go under Subcategory. I'm going to type in Wall Calendar. And if you wanted to see all the different subcategories available for calendars, you can just type in calendars and it's going to start pulling those different things. Um, so this kind of gives it gives you a lot easier way if you want to filter um, and create different categories. So we're going to do wall calendars. I'm going to add another one. For desk calendars. And so now I'm going to hit publish. It's going to go ahead and it's going to push um, those collections to my site. I'm going to do another one and it's just going to be all calendars. And I'm going to do master category calendars. So then um, if I preview that, it's going to automatically pull you to the all products. But if you go back to the home page, it actually shows those individual um, categories for them to select. If you didn't want them to be able to select those categories, if you go into the editor, um, there's a setting in here for the catalog block if you don't want those to show up and you just want it to automatically pull in all the products where they don't have a selection, you can do that too. Um, you double click on there and under show collection select screen, you can hit no and you can tell it to use all collections by default. So now if I save that and I do a live preview. It's going to automatically just pull all the everything from all the collections that I've made. So that new template vertical markets is a quick and easy way for you to be able to 
you know, change some text, change out a picture, and you, you know, use our product collection tools to um, pull in those niche markets, and you can quickly, you know, get a site out for a pop-up store for those types of things. Now, if you wanted to go and dive even deeper and do like a full-blown calendar pop-up shop, I'm going to show you um, an example of that. I've actually created a graphics bundle you guys can use to create a calendar shop. So if you go to distributorcentral.com and you go to resources, graphics for your website, there's um, calendar pop-up shop. You can download those graphics and it's gonna download a zip file. So you just unzip it. Somebody asked if they need to know CSS to change the font of the foreground text um, over that image. Let me go back there real quick. You do to some extent, but I can kind of show you um, quickly. If say you have an image that it might work better as black text versus white text, I'll show you how you could easily change that. Let me get back in there. Calendar store. I don't want to dive too deep into CSS because it can get tricky and you can mess up your website. But if that's the only thing you're touching, you should be okay. I'm going to go back in here to the editor. I'm going to go to settings, current page, edit CSS. So this here color white that is um, what's telling it what color to have this right now so you could change it to color black and it's also got this text shadow on it you could just delete that text shadow let me get this part too and then so now you would have black text um, it does allow you to put generic colors in here and it will change them. Um, if you have hex numbers, you could put hex numbers in there, change the color that way as well. And then the same with the text shadow. You know, you know how to get RGBA codes. So 000, that's for a black shadow. And this 0.95 is the opacity of the shadow. Um, if you wanted it to be white, you would change the zeros to 255 because 255, 255, 255 is RGBA. Um, and then like if you wanted the opacity to, to be lighter or darker, um, it goes from 0.01 to 0.99 on there right there. Um, so that's just a quick, just a glimpse of how you could change that if you needed to. All right, so now let's actually dive into using those graphics and taking a little bit more time on creating a calendar store. So I'm going to add a new website. I'm going to use this Made in USA template. And so this is a way to change your Made in USA site to a calendar site. Okay, so now um, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my collections first. So I'm going to hit add products to your site. It's going to pull up that collections manager. Um, it pulls in all the collections that are already currently on the site. You can just delete those.
Okay, so I'm gonna hit add collection to wall calendars. Add filter, I'm gonna filter it by supplier. I'm gonna use TradeNet. They've got good wall calendars. Hit save. Then I'm gonna add another filter and I'm gonna use the subcategory. And I'm gonna to go to the wall calendars. So this is this is gonna help me create those drop downs if you if you would want to do a drop down um, or any links on a nav bar. Nope. I want to do subcategory on that one. Subcategory. And if you have a preferred supplier for desk calendars, you can always add that filter as well. Um, so, or if you have multiple, you can you can add filters for for multiple suppliers, or you can have them you know all show up. So, I'm do one for planners. Um, and then I'm going to do one for magnetic calendars. And I'm going to filter that one by supplier. I'm going to use TradeNet. And then, let's see. Master category is going to be calendar. And then subcategory. So it doesn't look like we have a subcategory just for for magnets. So and so then now I'll add a filter and I'll use keyword magnet. So we have a calendar accessories. So I'm going to do that just to make it simple. Another thing too, if you um, have maybe there's specific calendar type products that you want to include, or especially along the line of accessories, like maybe you have some pins that are your favorite pins to offer with journals or planners. You can also create a product collection based off of a product list. So for example, I want to find some some of my favorite pins to include on here. Pins. I'm going to do a search and I can filter my search to whatever it is that I want. And so then I can start adding some products to a list. Let me start a new list. And so now I can add some of those products to my list. Maybe I want some journals, see what journals there are, um, whatever it may be. Um, so once you get those products there in that list, you can click this add to website and you name it. 
my favorites. And then you choose that website you want it on. And so now I can actually add, that will automatically um, add to my website as well. So if, if you even wanted to individually select the products, you can add them to a list and then put it to your website that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into Websites Hosting Manager. Go back to my collections. Okay, so I can keep building out these collections based on some of the different, um, so to see here, the calendar favorites got added here. And it's based off of that product list. At any point, if you wanna add to that list, you can do go into the search, you can pull that list up and you can continually add products to it and it's gonna update um based off this collection here all right so i've got the different collections built out that i'm wanting to add to the website so now i'm going to go back under calendar pop-up and i'm going to hit edit and so currently it has this rotating banner I downloaded those graphics that I created, so I'm going to add those in so I can switch these out. If you double click on there, it's going to bring any part of the editor, you double click on it, and it's going to bring up the editing properties of that block type, and it'll tell you up here what type of block it is. So now I can click here to change it. I haven't added those images yet, so I can actually add them from here. Hit upload images. All of these graphics are very generic um, and have to do with, you know, calendars. So um, different colors, different some are images, some are more graphics, um, just kind of fun to color things up. And all of these, um, all of these graphics that I created, another good resource for easily creating um, content and graphics for your website is Canva, canva.com. Um, that's what I used to create all of those graphics. You can, um, so you'll notice this image here was the same image I used earlier. You can actually upload your own images. If you find some stuff from Unsplash, they've got templates. In this case, uh, we recommend doing, if you're gonna do those sliders to replace 1600 by 400 pixels. So you can actually go into Canva, create an account. When you hit create a design, you can put in your custom dimensions and it's gonna automatically kind of pull what templates they have available for that size. And so then that's what I'll just kind of pick and choose some different things um, and then you know switch out. So this is one that I used and I just, they even have photos in here that are free. Calendar, as long as they don't have the little crown thing, they're free and you can use those. And so then you can just drag and drop those in there you can change, you know, what it says. You can change the fonts up here. You can change the colors of things. Um, a lot of really easy things you can do, and it's all free. Once you have it ready, you just go down here to download. In this case, I would use JPEG, and you download it. And so then you can use it for your website. So that's how I created these graphics. So to get those collections to automatically pull in. If you go over here to library, links, add all collections as links. So now it's gonna automatically pull in all those different collections. So there's desk calendars, calendar favorites. They're all in there now. Okay, so now we're gonna go back here and double click on here and work on this. Pick link, wall calendars. I'm gonna to go to the second slide and I'm just gonna keep picking these. Pick link. 
magnetic calendars. Calendar accessories. Planners. And I could keep adding slides. I could switch these out as I wanted. Um, whatever I want to do here. <clears throat> So this one, I'm just going to have used that whole calendar catalog. So now that gives my website graphics, you know, that already, you know, is calendar themed. So now um, up here currently, let me save this live preview. Currently, it's got all those old um, from the original template categories. So I'm going to double click on that nav bar and I'm just going to delete that. Now I'm going to hit plus group, name it calendars. I can slide it over here and then I'll hit this plus sign. I'll hit add link and now I can start adding those different. Um, categories out if you wanted to do that. If you didn't and you just wanted it to have shop all calendars, then you can just do plus link and choose the full calendar thing that you made. You can edit this, um, customize the link text, have it say shop all calendars. And so, so there's just you know some options of how you can quickly update the navigation bar. Currently, there's these link bars. So if you wanted to keep those in this template, you can double click on that and you delete all those. And then now you can add in your calendar ones. You can drag and drop them to rearrange them. And so maybe I don't want this one. Double click on it and I can just delete that baby. So now I want to change out this graphic on this template to be something related to calendar. Another good resource to find like supplier graphics is if you go to dcmkt.com. And you can kind of search through. These are, um, this is all the email blast graphics that suppliers send out. So, like, here's one on calendars. Let's see here. So, say I, say I want to use this one. You click on it. If you right click, hit save image. Save it wherever you're going to save it. I've actually already got some saved. Um, then you might, you go back into the editor, double click on that picture block. You'll hit pick image and hit upload image. And now I'm going to go find that graphic. Then also you can change the link that it links to. Um, in this case, I don't actually have a specific link created for that yet. So you can actually hit uh, add new link. And in this case, my graphic is for um, I'm going to name it mailer calendars. And then I'm going to hit this generate search link. I'm going to choose calendars as my master category and then my suppliers trade net. 
And then, um, let's see, I'm going to put in postcard magnet. And, and so now I can test that link to see what happens. So TradeNet has, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and generate it just for the sake of this. Um, I could have actually done a product list too and individually select the products that go with, with that flyer. Mailer calendars. So TradeNet has where you can mail postcards and you can have it put um, a magnetic uh, calendar on there. So in this case, I would probably want to make sure that I actually um, linked this to that product. And that's where maybe that list would have came in, in handy. This here is already there and it has to do with calendars. So I'm going to leave that alone. Do a live preview. Let's see what else we got here. So we've got these product ribbons for top sellers and featured products. If I double click on that, I can choose um, collection. And then I can actually um, pick what collection I want to feature. So I'm going to do calendar favorites. And it's going to, you can change the ribbon title if you want. And there's just some different options of how you want it to display if you want them to be able to email products and so forth. So now it's going to automatically pull in that anything I add to that calendar favorites list, it's going to automatically update and pull it in there. Same with this featured products. I'm going to change it to a collection. And I'm going to choose planners. Save. So my calendar favorites come in, the planners come in. And then also, so there's this shop by category and it says no categories found. That's because I've narrowed things down so much um, that there's not enough for it to pull that in. So we would want to delete that since there's not actually anything pulling in. So I'm going to hit save. And so now I have a website that is ready to just sell calendars. All right, um, so that is all that I had for today. Um, I'm gonna check the questions real quick and we'll try to wrap this up. It went a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, so somebody asked how many niche pop-up sites can you have active at the same time? You can have an unlimited amount active but if for some reason you're trying to add another or make another one active and it doesn't let you you'll have to email our support team at info at distributorcentral.com and we'll have to update your upgrade the account to allow for more it doesn't cost anything because our pop-ups only allow for a certain period of time that's up to you Sometimes just by calling it a pop-up shop makes customers more eager to hurry up and go in the case for calendars, Calendar season is, you know, from now until about January. If some people are running late, maybe into February. It's just kind of a, a hot term that people are using for these websites. For example, maybe you created a team store and you've created custom products for that store. You can set a date um, for those products to be live. After that date, they wouldn't, they wouldn't show up on the website. But yes, this has been recorded. Um, and it will be sent out um, later today or tomorrow. I just want to say thank you all for joining me today. Um, I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope it was what you expected. Um, I do have another question. Would you guys be interested if I actually took this 
calendar pop-up shop that I just created with you today and we made it to, uh, as a template to where you guys could actually just use that today? Um, if so, comment in the questions, yes. And if we get enough interest, I'll just go ahead and make it a template. All right, so it looks like the calendar shop template is a go. I will get that added into the main templates. Once again, thank you guys for joining me and hope you have a great day.